I'm Madison Wade. Here's a look at what's happening today. Governor Newsom has signed several laws targeting the state's college admissions process. The laws tighten rules about when colleges and universities can admit students who don't meet eligibility requirements. They also require schools to report to the state legislature if they have any preferential treatment, as well as have them be more transparent about employment after graduation, so their applicants know how successful the training is for future careers. And pg and &E is allowing the general public to get notifications for their public safety safety power shutoffs. That means even people who don't live in those areas, as well as people who aren't pg and &E customers, can get those notifications as well. pg and &E customers will already get those alerts specific to where they live, but this new tool for their system will help people plan, especially people take care, like caretakers and travelers who go to those areas but don't live there, actually. And you may want to sign up for those alerts sooner rather than later. pg and &E went on social media today to tell people to update their contact information because of those red flag conditions for the weekend. They're monitoring right now to see if they have to shut off power. And the company's forecast map shows an elevated chance of shutoffs on Saturday in the Sierra Foothills and Sunday in the Foothills North Coast and North Bay. And tracking all of that for us is meteorologist Monica Woods. All right, and you can see the areas under that red flag warning right now. Just south of Sacramento, all the way north of Redding and then over towards the North Coast and the Sierra Foothills. Gusty winds, low humidity. This gets going at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. It's going to continue through 5 o'clock on Sunday. We talked about this yesterday. Those northwest winds were going to start to pick up, but late in the day, they're going to continue through tomorrow. It's fairly calm to start off our Saturday, but then they get going during the afternoon. And with a bit of that heat starting to build as well from this high pressure ridge coming over, that's a double whammy here. We've got the heat, we've got the dry winds, and a lot of fuel right now. Everything is just so dry. That ridge, Sinking warming air, dry, warm northwest winds are going to stick with us through Sunday. And you're going to see the temperature pattern reflect that as well. Highs will be close to 90 by Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And then some moderating temperatures into next week, tracking just an ever so slight chance of showers coming into next weekend's forecast. Now you're all caught up on what's happening today.